Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father cares, March 25th. Jesus' example in humility. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. John 13 verses 14 and 15 There is in man a disposition to esteem himself more highly than his brother, to work for self, to seek the highest place, and often this results in evil surmisings and bitterness of spirit. The ordinance preceding the Lord's Supper is to clear away these misunderstandings, to bring man out of his selfishness, down from his stilts of self-exaltation to the humility of heart that will lead him to serve his brother. The ordinance of feet washing most forcibly illustrates the necessity of true humility. While the disciples were contending for the highest place in the promised kingdom, Christ girded himself and performed the office of a servant by washing the feet of those who called him Lord. Reconciliation one with another is the work for which the ordinance of feet washing was instituted. Whenever it is celebrated, Christ is present by his Holy Spirit. It is the Spirit that brings conviction to hearts. As Christ celebrated this ordinance with his disciple, conviction came to the hearts of all, save Judas. So we shall be convicted as Christ speaks to our hearts. The fountains of the soul will be broken up. The mind will be energized and, springing into activity in life, will break down every barrier that has caused disunion and alienation. Sins that have been committed will appear with more distinctness than ever before, for the Holy Spirit will bring them to our remembrance. Having washed the disciples' feet, he said, I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. Christ was there instituting a religious service. By the act of our Lord, this humiliating ceremony was made a consecrated ordinance. It was to be observed by the disciples that they might ever keep in mind his lessons of humility and service. Our Father cares, March 25th.